Minister Bebo, is it time to drop federal travel restrictions like that? Well, you know that our government is, is following the situation and we're trying to take the best decision possible to protect the health of Canadians. This is our top priority. Is there, is there a rift right now in your caucus? Uh, the Hill Times had a report saying a majority of Liberal MPs actually think those mandates should be dropped. We have discussions and different, I mean, many views. We're trying to strike the right balance. And obviously, what is important is the health of Canadians. But right now, Thank do you, you think the majority of the Liberal caucus thinks that the federal travel mandate should be dropped? Well, I can just tell personally that I know that uh, the Liberal caucus has done an outstanding job protecting uh, the constituencies that they serve. And we continue to follow science and health. And we look forward to the continued recommendations and working uh, forward for everyone to continue to uh, safeguard people. What science remains to keep those specifically vaccine mandates and domestic flights, let's say, in place? Well, later on, uh, we're going to see some more advice being put forward by uh, various health officials. And uh, I look forward to, you know, following their advice, their guidance. Uh, myself, I know that what we have done, we've saved a lot of lives. In particular, those people are immune, compromised, including members of my family. So I really appreciate how Canadians have saved lives over the past two years. And uh, we're not out of this pandemic, but we were going to continue to follow the advice of health and science uh, to make sure that we continue to save lives and that we uh, continue to uh, see uh, the economy continue to climb. We saw the job numbers. Uh, we're doing extremely well as it relates to uh, job numbers for Sault Ste. Marie and everywhere. But what's your view? What's your view on you know how long those types of federal mandates uh, for vaccinations and so on should stay in place? I don't have a, a very specific, uh, you know, timeline uh, in place. I know that the uh, health measures that we have put in place have saved lives, and I will continue to follow the advice uh, personally uh, and encourage Canadians to follow the advice of uh, the experts, uh, you know, as it relates to science and health. Is there a rift forming though in caucus? Not that I'm aware of. Not, not. That you I'm haven't aware. heard? Did you see that headline? A majority of the liberal. Now, Liberal MPs think that they should drop the, the federal mandates. Uh, do, you, do you think that that's accurate? Uh, you know what? I, I didn't see that headline, and no one contacted uh, me, so I, I'm not. The Hill, part, Hill I'm Times didn't that. didn't reach out to you. No, I, I I have not uh, been uh, voicing uh, anything to that matter as and well. So there's not some raucous debates that are you know disagreements with colleagues within the Liberal Caucus about when these mandates should be lifted or if they should already have been lifted? Each and every single uh, Liberal member always has an opportunity to voice uh, his or her uh, opinions and uh, you know that's how we uh, as a Liberal caucus are so strong uh, that we welcome a, a whole bunch of different views and uh, you know we continue to, uh, to work together. I've enjoyed the support of the Liberal caucus on a number of issues and we will uh, we'll continue to do that but overall it's, it's down to the science and health of uh, you know advisors. Well, we're studying it closely, but uh, I think uh, the province of Ontario has done their part just recently. We're, we're evaluating ours, so I think it's, uh, we're getting really close to that time, yes. The Hill Times had an article today saying the majority of the Liberal caucus uh, wants those mandates lifted. Once an end to that, do you think that there's a rift forming in caucus? No, no, there's no rift. I mean, this, these mandates were important. Uh, there's a high vaccination rate. We have Canadians safe. There's a lot less people that have died here per capita than many other countries. So the mandates worked. The mandates are important, but now it's probably time to move on now. Do you think so? Is there evidence that we should move on? Is it you're saying it's probably well, you see time the hospitalization rate, you see some of the death rates going down. So, so when you look at those important health factors, then then yes, it's time. So you think it's time to move on? We're really close to, to having that time, so yes. Do you have an idea about when? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what what's what's your view? Why do you think that it's time perhaps to end? Let's say vaccination mandates for domestic well, flights. Well, like I said earlier, uh, we're looking at the uh, the health rates uh, on the hospitalization and, and the death rates, um, and so together, I think, uh, and the provinces have just done their part just recently. So it's kind of a progress. We can't, um, you know, you, you got to evaluate things. So so there's a lot of factors. Obviously, there's health, there's public uh, public health, and everything else in the economy. But bottom line is, we've kept Canadians safe with the mandates. We've kept Canadians safe. With a lot of the supports we've had for individuals and businesses and now when we look at where we're at today um, moving forward now to the summer every summer since the pandemic has happened there was a lower rate mm -hmm. so the timing might be good right now remind me your name i'm sorry mark said a member of parliament for nickel belt just a quick question uh, once the decision is taken i understand it's not taken yet but once it is taken will the public health advice for that decision will be released do you know 
I'm not sure about the mechanics on, on the public health, looking back to the public health, but uh, at the end of the day, um, the decisions are being talked about right now. The decisions are being you know, talked in caucus, talked about in parliament, talked with Canadians, talked about constituents. Um, but uh, how that is uh, sent out as far as uh, health related, I'm not sure. But that data should be public, no? The data will be public, yes. 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 Like actual documents? Like well, you, know? you look at, you, there's, there's decisions that are made um, when you look at the province's mandate, because they link with health, so so there is there is there is certain elements that are confidential to a certain extent, but I'm not sure of the detail. No. Okay. Okay. Merci. Thank you. Merci.